Hello, and welcome to another episode of Bit Pico 20 Spitlight Series. This is number 120, and I'm playing as Brooklyn Game. So I was born a female in Halifax, Canada. I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. My birthday is February 15th. I am an Aquarius. My name is Brooklyn Gain. My mother is Marie Gain, a graphic designer age 23. My father is Kenneth Gain, an insurance agent age 23. We have a family dog named Manuel. Yeah, Manuel. <coughs> Nothing happens at one. Uh, compromise. A little girl named Mia wants to become my friend. Yeah, why not? <coughs> Throw a conniption for it. While watching Blue's Clues on TV, your mother asks you what you want for lunch. PB and J. Own it. Uh, it wasn't me. So we now we now live in Puerto Rico. No, we no, we're in Vietnam. Little Tun Primary. We're oh, five years. Report to the headmaster. I'm guessing Vietnam here is the country for immigrants. Oh, come on. The bitch is bullying me and all you're saying is you're going to look into it. Gain Titch. Let her go, go to the doctor, Dr. Din. Your classmate Kian has asked you out. For three years at frontal secondary. That's wishing well. <laughs> Definitely not. Criminal justice. Fuck you. No tipping. Retreat slowly. Oh, yeah. A 
shop for cars. Well, that's a home. It says shop for cars. That's construction ahead. Way traffic. Now we can buy a car. Looks like we need to get that out on a loan. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get one. <laughs> National Kiss and Makeup Day, that's not a real thing. Okay. Restraining order. Oh, really? What would you say about that? Yeah, of course I will. Disruptible one. Killing me, you bastards. Oh, 
I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. the water please oh you bastard savage Ann. <laughs> Like you. Don't do that. Too crazy. That's not fair. Got accused of murder and shot Ow! I'm gonna try and appeal that. But it doesn't do anything.
手。Not really an insult. Be respectful. Ignore. No. Should go to the infirmary. Ah, politely. What do they know? Undeserved.
Alright then. We'll be playing as Yvonne Alvar Alvarez. Until then, bye bye. Hello, and welcome to another episode of BitLife, Peak Out 20's BitLife series. This is number 121. And it's time to play as Yvonne Alvarez. I was born a female in Little Rock, United States, to Mexican parents. I was a planned pregnancy. My birthday is December 29th. I am a Capricorn. My name is Yvonne Alvarez. My mother is Valentina Romero, a student aged 24. My father is Juan Manuel Alvarez, an architect aged 60. Why? We have a family mongrel named Ace. My mother graduated from business school. She started a new position as a marriage counsellor for Little Rock Health and Addiction. What up? Well, Marcos Owens, no. I don't want to be your friend, Mr. Crazy. Luke Skywalker. Why not? Uh, up, up. Own it. Little, oh, same. Bruce is elementary. Report to the principal. Peyton Alvarez. It happens. Mr. Smelly. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Beam me up, Junior. Kissing with the tongue. Ugh. <laughs> well, okay, it's time to go to the doctor about that insomnia. <laughs> Dr. Shiner. Dr. Shiner. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah. Apologize for my actions. YouTube, here we come. Aria Preparatory School. Yes. Dear, oh dear. Schools for fools. <laughs> that would be construction, he head. No, it freaking wouldn't. Bastards. Ooh. 
call him bro. Expelled. Alright, I'm gonna try and get into another university course. Fuck you! You never even gave me a freaking chance. Oh, fuck you, bastards. I don't expect to get many jobs then, can I? What? Now look what they've led me to do. In honour of National Beach Day, a local travel... <laughs> National Beach Day, okay. Plastic surgery. Give me rhino plastic. Tummy tuck. That's not going to work. Ow! Wait, did that...
Okay, here we go. I don't think we're going to have much in the way of being able to afford one right now. He wants to buy a haunted mansion. Oh well. No, we couldn't buy that. No, don't worry, we can't afford it. Dear oh dear, every house we've tried we cannot afford. What about this one? No. What about this one? Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, can't afford it at the moment, I'm afraid. Oh, your husband Nathan suggests that the two of you apply for a mortgage and buy a vintage mid-century home that just went off for sale at 1801 Mulberry Crescent. Time to go auto shopping. All right, hold on. Before we do that, we need to take the license test again. <laughs> And again. <laughs> now we can buy a car.
Is there going to be one we can afford? All the new vehicles cost too much. <laughs> I think we should retreat slowly from that, because if it bucks us, we're goners. Sure, I'll go. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Leave. Yes, we're going to buy the boy a pet. A pet. Catty. Arthur doesn't sound like the name for a cat. It doesn't bother me. Troubadour. Pretend I don't see him. Call the demon a bitch. <laughs> I'm sure that'll do. I'm sure that'll go well. Forgive.
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I can't afford to give him anything. I'm not doing that, no way. Wait a minute, I could try to bribe him. What? Well, I'm not guilty because I didn't do anything wrong. Taking all my money. Should have signed a prenup. Penniless and homeless. Well, I've got money now. Guess what? Dr. Gaffer. Confront him about it. I'm not going to have anything to leave him in the will unless I actually buy something. Uh, which one? Uh...
And I am going to continue as Marcus. Go to the doctor. Got the gas is good. So likely decline. Instagram. Dale Shiner. Fuck you. Job recruiter. What the fuck? Job recruiter. I'd rather not say. Just wish him well. Take some aspirin. Then a poor sling. Then like I don't see him. If that's the way you have to do it. Right, if I ignore all this, I could get out after a shorter time. Good behaviour. Ow!
go to the infirmary. I think so. Refuse. Ow! Ignore. And I'm out. None of us have a boating license. You know what that means. <coughs> so, from what side of the vessel should you never anchor? Stand side. Legend of Marshall Gross Wiener. <laughs> I think so, not to Mongolia. Ow. 
Thank you guys. Tracy Trudeau or Trudeau Trudeau will be the next one of players. Until then, bye bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another or welcome to the penultimate episode of I James. I thought I'd do a bit live episode for you. So I'm playing as Emma Oban. And I was born a female in Adelaide, Australia. I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. My birthday is June 19th. I am a Gemini. My name is Emma Oban. My mother is Taylor Oban, a student aged 21. My father is Hayden Oban, a banker aged 47. We have a family cat named Cupcake. Ooh, spit. We'll become friends with her, Eleanor Rudd. Throw a tantrum. I have flu, admit I broke it. Danny Oban. Holly Chapman. Oh, look how crazy she is. I'm going to have to turn her down. The uncoordinated kid. Max Oban. Jason Bexley. You bastard. Excellent. I'm now starting at Geyser Preparatory School. It's time to pick an activity. And let's see if I can get into the dance club. Ooh. Zara Oban. Jump. Yes. That's a crossroad. Let her go, the bitch. Mr. Sun. Criminal justice. You wankers. Sign up to YouTube. Seek higher education. That should get me into graduate school. No. Into business school. Yeah, no. Into law school. No. You fucking wankers. Dun dun 
Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. That's not what I went into qualifications in. Ow! What a bitch! Dun 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 dun. Sign up for Twitter. Right, confront him about it. Repair. If it's a prank, just laugh it off. It's National Skyscraper Day and you're watching a news story comparing the world's most famous high-rises. As you look at the images, you start daydreaming about what you would do if you were atop one of the world's tallest towers. I shut my eyes. Maybe it's time to go asset shopping. Let's see what can be afforded. Uh, no, thank you. I'm a GM. He wants to be buried. And I'm now on Gram of Insta. And my car has been retired armor. Rear gem. Keep that, it's mine now. Report him to my supervisor. You bastard! Go to the doctor. Dr. Cox. Glad he didn't suck. <laughs> Well, sorry about that joke there, guys. Okay. Timbuktu. Go to the doctor, Dr. Cox. Treat me. Laugh it off. <laughs> Go to the doctor, Dr. Cox. Treat me. Laugh it off. <laughs> uh, no. Let's go to the club. Bup, bup, bup. Ooh. Luca Bailey Of course you don't because you're a bitch You stupid fictional woman Go to the doctor, Dr. Cox Laryngitis treat me for Thank you very much, I no longer have a faulty voice box. 
Ooh. Make him use oh, a condom. Yeah. Delete the account. Fucking hackers. And uh, no. Highly on cliff. You better not fall out with me for no reason. A gas factory. Ow. I've been fired from my job. I will beg the supervisor to let me stay. That's it now. I sue your ass. Laura and White. Ha ha. Oh, you bastards. Dun dun. You stole my money, you wankers. Surprise me here. I'm gonna sit and watch. My sister die. I'm such a heartless bastard. Now I get to do it again. <laughs> Cause I skipped her funeral. <laughs> Your mother is ridiculed. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. What job am I gonna get now? A baker, that is what. You bitch! Dun dun! You cow! You bitch! Dun dun! You cow! <laughs> Watch the sunrise. Okay, okay. You... What? I'm gonna cooperate. I'm not guilty. Thanks very much. Ignore. Because they ain't worth it. Have a talk. What a waste of time. You waste, little girl, my time, little girl. With something not worth the hassle. Come back, little girl, when you, little girl. Will waste my time no longer. Explain that I can't do that, baby. It's time to fly. <laughs> Where did that come from? Only I'm mediocre. And I died at the number of a sexual position. Well, well I don't make money on YouTube anyway. However, <laughs> I think this penultimate episode shall end right here. And join me for the final episode next time. Until then, see you. Hello, 
and welcome to another episode of Pico 20's Bit Life. This is number 123, and I'm playing as Ari Montefiore. So I was born a male in Bethlehem, Israel. I was conceived after my mum visited the cockpit mid-flight. It is unknown if my father was the pilot or co-pilot. My birthday is August 20th. I'm a Leo. My name is Ari Montefiore. My mother is Millie Montefiore, a marine and biologist aged 29. My father is unknown. <coughs> Nothing happens at a year old. <coughs> okay, try to stay calm. Okay. It wasn't me, of course. Tricycle skills. So I'm now living in Jamaica. Mouthwash only. I'm starting at Wonka Primary School. Three guesses who the headmaster is. Okay. <laughs> No. That didn't do anything. Return to the principal. Dr. Lightning. So Zeus is the headmaster. Your classmate Sherwin has been telling everyone on social media that you're a teacher's pet. Principal. Really? Principal. <coughs> Trying not to do that. Your classmate Barrington just blew a spitwad in class when your teacher Mrs. Dixon had her back turned. Ignore the antics. She hyperventilated during the kiss. Yo. Latoria Hamilton. Ask her out. Well, well, well. I'm now starting at Seaman <laughs> Secondary School. Stand up for the young orphan. Mrs. Michelle. Is that all he gets? Report to the principal. Better than two. Ow! I'm going to see if I can get him on a criminal justice score. No! I'm about to go to Concol instead. I have a license, so I'm going to go and buy myself a car, a new sedan, can't afford it, a used truck, 
can't afford it. Well, I can afford it, actually. Hang on a minute. About can't afford. Go to university. Philosophy. And I will pay this cash because I can afford to. Forgive him. Sign up for YouTube. And I'll ignore the Curtison. I'll ignore the working girl. Why well, at a gay parade, a gay pride parade, you meet a young lady named Kalisha. Kalisha Morgan. Probably for the best anyway. Seek higher education. Let's see if I'm getting to med school with that. No. Grad school? Get a student loan. Call the police. Without a doubt, other life forms have to exist. Now it's time to get a job. No, 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 no. Apologise to my followers. Have a talk. No, that was very effective. like I don't see him. Shandice Campbell. No, I'm a faithful boyfriend. That worked. You see a hilarious meme about today being National Shrink Day, but after having a good laugh, you begin to ponder how you could benefit from seeing a therapist. I could do with a better job. So I go into banking. Retreat slowly. Ignore, ignore. Insult him back. A blockhead. Not really an insult, is it? Enrollment bonus. Your supervisor at work asks you which gift you think should be given to new customers who open checking account. Give them a free checkbook.
Report to human resources. Let's bring him back. Call him a Cumber World. <laughs> What's a Cumber World? <laughs> Politely accept. No. A car. Buy it with cash. Look for them everywhere. Obviously. Obviously, I didn't do it, so...
<laughs> yeah. That's right. Oh. Abyss map. Well, there's no need for... I didn't mean to do that. They're very modern. Ow! I have three of them. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram it. And it's now time to find this guy a job. Damn you. What can I job recruiter get? Ooh. That's right. And I think we'll keep that as a pet. Because it's creepy and it's kooky. Mysterious and spooky. The Montefiore family. Da -da -da -da. Shop, 
for a car. Dun, 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 dun. Buy it with cash. Dun, 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 dun. Divorce him then. He's going to argue with me about a car. <laughs> Did I seriously just do this? Ebola, Ebola. Don't oh, do yeah. You bastards. And we are going to court. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh -huh. Kate McGuinness. Ask her on a date. Go away. Turn in. I was turning it in. Cooperate. Of course I'm not guilty. Because it wasn't my drugs. What's the point? He'll just leave again. Oh, yeah. Was I going to be a twatty dad and deny it? So we do this again, do we? I think I will become a reset. While being interviewed for the receptionist position at Jupiter Mills, you are asked the following question. Which of these Star Wars characters do you relate the most? But what does that have to do with the job? Go to Doctor Hughes. Dun 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 dun
I have no place in my heart for someone who does that and denies it. Restraining order. Your co-worker Jack Morgan wants to become your friend. Pay no attention. Best friends forever. Ignore the street worker. Yes, I'll do that. No, thank you. Okay. It's basically over anyway. I'm going to have to fuck you. No, that's not what I meant to say. Then, like I didn't see the junkie. Fuck you. You're sued. No. Is there any point getting a new job? I mean, what the truck kind of company is going to take me on? I told you so. <laughs> that was easy. Fourteen years? Not even gonna last that long. So you know what? I'm gonna try and appeal that.
Oh, fuck them. Is there something I can do to get out? Maybe... Offer a bribe? Ignore. I'm a dead Where I'm going to end this episode, and next time I'll be playing as Sun Sang. Until then, bye. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pico 20 Spit Life. This is number 124, and I'm playing as Sun Sang. So, I was born a male in Wuhan, China, to Korean parents. I was an accidental pregnancy. My birthday is October 31st. I'm a Scorpio. My name is Son Sang. My mother is Min Ran Jung. Sorry, Min Ran Hung. A retail salesperson, age 33. My father is Sun Man. Sun Man. <laughs> a real estate agent, age 32. I have an older brother named Zhao Bo, age 6. Let's compromise that. <coughs> Bite her. Driving a car. Don't be silly. Well, not very... Okay, so... I'm now going to Senshin's primary school. Chonglin Sun. Report to the headmaster. Is that all we get? Let's do it. Come on. That is not very good. Huh. Don't just say that, you idiots. Your classmate, Wang Guy, Wang Guy, Lily. Okay. If I'm butchering Chinese names, please let me know. Really? Seriously? Time to go to university. Maybe not. But I'm driving away. Browse for available. 
Honourable J.O.B.'s. Well, I'm not going to get many jobs, am I? Oh, come on. You mean giving me the freaking chia la 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 Fuck you. Well, let him go then, the dickhead. Ooh. Fight procrastination day. Okay, uh, maybe tomorrow? Ignore her. Time to shop for the hoots. A fountain head reality. Ranch. No, we cannot afford that. Modern home. No, uh, we cannot afford that. Contemporary home. No, uh, we cannot afford that. Don't eh? Complain about not having a norm if you don't want to buy one. Chalet. Try again. With a condo. Ask her. She doesn't want to buy it. Look. We're going to buy a home whether you want to or not. It doesn't sound like she wants to buy a home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain that I can't do that. Really? Confront her about it. to hear
back into play. What a bastard. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Mr. Suck. <laughs> uh, the act up in class. <coughs> Insult. What uh, a brainless. Political science. Scholarship rejected. Hey, we can No, I'm a faithful girlfriend. <laughs> Two way traffic. Break up with him then. Don't trust any more men. Well, okay. And that should be enough to qualify me for grad school. Yep. Yeah. Fuck off then. What about law school? What about business school? Oh. If that's how you want it. Job recruiter. What? What? Hey, you've got to find me a job somehow. Oh, fuck you. They weren't mine. Uh, no. Ignore. Hold her back, calling her a snitch. Snitch on her. Ignore her. I'm not Ow! Right Be respectful. Ignore. Maybe I can actually appeal. Damn lawyers. Ow! Snitch on her. Well, if you don't give me the option to ignore her for every one of these...
Look, if you can't take it, don't give it. Ignore. Ignore. Tell her everything. And I'm out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I need a new job. Well, no one's going to take me on now. Really? I got a crap job because I've been in prison. What crap? Oh, yeah. Go shopping for a car. Boom, brum, brum. Faithful wife. <coughs> Taking pet shopping. Let's go for an exotico patio. Constrict is not exactly the safest bet for a pet. What? Oh, fuck's sake. So I'm back in. <laughs> Prison for a come here. Oh, yeah. How could I do that if Ow. ignore? Keep it. Ignore. See if I can get out on a release deal. Refuse to do it. Ow! I'm going to play um, as the 10 year old now. Family of four eyes
That's because they're bastards. She wanted to elope. That might have been the only way forward. Keep turning me down like that, you faggots. Wankers. Tit heads. Where I'm not gay. <laughs> Retreat slowly. fucking hate you I fucking hate you employers I'm gonna sue you that was totally unfair you fucking wankers now I should go and find another job Apprentice cameraman. Who or what motivates you? My previous failures, a desire to save the planet. My previous failures. Have a talk with him. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Go to the store. Train him not. 
not to do that. Cheat on my girlfriend Cause I'm a bastard like that Try to ignore him Train him not to do that Of course I will Ignore him, reward him. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Look for him everywhere, don't be so damn lazy. Train him not to do that. I will pay his tuition Yes I will You fucking wankers Please let me stay I'm gonna get the job back <laughs> Ignore her. Shook. Why don't you want the baby? I will do that. But that's really asking a lot. Just go to Dr. Hip. I'm a faithful boyfriend. No, I'm not. We'll do that then. Keep them in and on. Break up with her. Don't go out with anyone else. Ow! Fight back. Have a talk with him, that never works. Why is it even an option? Restraining order. You want me to work overtime again? Explain I can't do that. Ow! Retreat slowly. You're a... You fucking wankers. Why do I even bother? Ow! Really? No thanks.
Is there any reason why that person was named Dong? I took a trip to the year 3000, this song had gone multi platinum oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm going to have to appeal that. How dare they accuse me of murder? Well, I'm not in prison anymore. Okay. Ignore him. We'll shop for a car. At Hall Motors. A car for a car loan. Never mind. Go to the doctor. Divorce her, she was not worth those twelve years. Cremator! Survive all of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry guys, sorry. All right. Come on, long face. I've got a lot of my very hard earned fortune. That's uh, knowing I had nothing to lose. <laughs> Oh dear. Now I'm even further in debt. I shouldn't have done that. Right. Um, I'm gonna have to commit crime here. Murder someone. By... Fastball to the head. Ow! Got away with it? Mm. 
Maybe that wasn't the best way about it. How about porch piracy? Can't afford to. gets too criminalized so we're gonna call it here and i'll ask you to join me for the next one a very a very uh, soon until then thanks for watching hello and welcome to another episode of peak l 20s bit life series this is number 125 and I'm now playing as Wilma Velasquez. I was born a male. Okay, Wilma then. I was born a male in Sucre, Bolivia. I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. My birthday is February 6th. I am an Aquarius. My name is Wilma Velasquez. My mother is Karen Martinez. A real estate agent, age 41. My, mother, my father is David Velasquez. A business analyst, age 40. I have an older brother named Fernando, age 2. Prune juice. Throwing food on the floor. Connection fit. Compromise. I'll be friends with Stephanie Condori. We want Mackenzie. I admit I broke it. Scream. I'm in. To headmaster, of course, I will. Common cold, Zaid Ahmed and the magician's rock, or Zaid Ahmed. You know what we're gonna do. Tastes like dill. Tell my big brother. I'm going to ask him to go with me. Go the bitch. Uh. 
bleacher bully intervene. Good advice, good advice. And that, guys, is the end of this Soda of Epi. We play as Emma Hanks next time. Until then, bye-bye. Welcome to another episode of Pico 20's Bit Live series. This is episode 126, and I'm playing as Emma Hanks. So, I was born a female in Boston, United States. I was conceived after my mother had, had a botched tubal ligation procedure. My birthday is May 22nd. I am a Gemini. My name is Emma Hanks. My mother is Katie Hanks, a lobbyist aged 42. My father is Jay Hanks. A massage therapist, age 60. I have an older sister named Mary Bucket, age 21. We have a family dog named Dean. I'm going to do that. I have a sister that's old enough to be the mother. And basically, a father's old enough to be either the grandfather or great-grandfather. I'm going to become friends with you. Apologise to her. Take a nap. Admit I broke it. I'm now going to Don Elementary School. Report to the principal. Mr. Brain. Let's hope the vice principal isn't called Mr. Pinky. Reward him. <laughs> uh, do nothing. They decided to immigrate us to where? Iraq. Really? Probably one of the worst places to immigrate to. School was released early today and you are eagerly awaiting your parents in front of the school. Hours pass and you are still waiting. You are starting to worry. Call home. Yeah, report to headmaster. Tell my mother about it. Kissing with the tongue.
Oh, he went with me. Hey, Muhammad. Um, wait, can young people? That was probably to do with Lafado. Your classmate Tarek has asked you out. Tarek Saraf. What's the point of asking them out if you're just going to... Oh! Uh, I choose... I can't choose one, okay. I'm starting at Kamal Bulo's at, uh, secondary. Report to the headmaster. What the heck? Oh, really now? That's not good enough. What? Now I can go to university. Marketing. Go student loan straight away. No. I suppose we can't do anything other than that. Wait. No. What is the point? There's no way to go out, but that's the way it happened. So that's it for this episode. Join me next time as I play as Willie Oakley. Until then, thanks for watching.